Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alessandra and in today's video we are going to be doing a review of the Pure and Raw Beauty Christy collaboration. If you guys are just excited as I am, then go ahead and stay tuned. Before we get started, if you guys are new here, my name is Alessandra and here on this channel we're doing beauty reviews, unboxings, and all types of fashion videos as well. If that's your vibe, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be notified for all of my new videos. Go ahead and follow me over on Instagram as well. I'll be posting a lot of makeup looks as well along with doing all of these videos and we can go ahead and connect a little bit more over there as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, you guys, so I don't know about you, but my experience with the Pure website was one that was very interesting. I know a lot, pretty much every single person had to go through the same thing as well, and I don't want to complain, but I do want to tell you my experience because I waited six hours and 24 minutes until I could finally purchase the products that I have here today. Now, I got the 18 pan eyeshadow palette, which retails for $34. And then I also got the lashes in the style Lovely. I tried getting the other lashes as well, but for some reason I just couldn't. They might have just sold out. I don't know. It kept saying that it was available, but then it just wouldn't go into my cart. So these were the only ones that I could get in my cart, which I am very happy with and excited to try today. So I don't know if I said these retail for $14. I don't think I need to rehash what the experience was fully. We all know the site crashed and they did their best to pull it out for us. There was a queue and then there wasn't a queue and then it would just keep crashing and then it would load and it was just a mess. And it's nothing on Raw Beauty Christy at all. We all know that. But Pure definitely should have come up with a better plan ahead of time. I mean, we all know she has over a million subscribers. So there's a lot of us that were interested in the product. I just think that they could have done a little bit better. But I digress because I am so excited for this collaboration. I really, really, truly am. I haven't been this excited in a while. I just think that Raw Beauty Christie, you can just see it that she worked so, so hard on this collaboration. She posted one of her videos where she showed us her little cardboard piece that she sent over to Pure to show them her idea. And I just thought that was the cutest thing. And you could just see how much hard work she put into her collaboration and you know the the time that she took to go through everything with us and how everything's personalized um you know she showed us all of the um pictures that she drew herself on here she created all of these pictures and they each have a meaning on there as well hopefully you guys can see that and i just it you can just tell and you can feel that it really is personal and i am excited to dive into the palette and the collection. So this is an 18 pan eyeshadow palette. They have nine on each side. So this is the first side and it is the more neutral side. Both sides come with a mirror as well. So that is the first side and this is the neutral side. And I just think it is absolutely beautiful. I, The thing that got me super excited about this palette is the fact that there is a neutral side and a colorful side. I love color and I love neutral looks. If I'm on the go and I need to be somewhere and I don't have enough time to get ready, I go for a quick neutral look and I think that this would be perfect for that. And then the other side, I can have more time and play with, with the colors. And the fact that it's in this small compact palette to me is very travel friendly and that is what she was going for as well. So let's go ahead and open up the colorful side. So this is what the colorful side looks like. Should get a close up of that. It is absolutely beautiful. But I think that the colors that she chose are just fun and they they'll work together. You know, we're going to come up with some look today. I'm not sure what it is, but it's going to be funky. I think I want to use the colorful side. So, I am going to just 
I'm gonna swatch just a couple of the colors, the ones that intrigue me the most, maybe the ones that I wanna use today. I don't wanna go through the whole thing. I do really quickly wanna mention that Pure did send out, which I wasn't expecting at all, um, a little We're Sorry card with 25% off your next purchase. And I thought that was really nice of them. Um, you know, I honestly wasn't expecting that because not a lot of brands would do that. And they also sent a Pure Eyeliner and the fact that, well, I thought it was black when I opened it up first, and then I realized it's not black, it's brown. So I've never used their eyeliner, so maybe we'll just go ahead and try that out today as well. So it is it is a brown eyeliner, and it looks like it's self-sharpening. If you twist it, it says sharpen right up here, so that's a pretty cool feature. So yeah, we'll try that out today as well. I'm going to go ahead and swatch some of these colors. Okay, so I went ahead and swatched some of these colors out for you. I did not swatch them in order whatsoever, but I didn't swatch all of them. So these are just the ones that I was like most intrigued by. So I'll just tell you the color. The pink one is called Side Effect. The golden yellow is called Dandelion. The pretty shimmer is called Cafe Disco. The orange is called Emma Orange. The turquoise color is called Garden State. And the purple is called Tribute. Now, they swatched beautifully. The purple was just like slightly patchy, but I honestly think that was me because I'm not very good at this. So, very pigmented. I'm super excited about that. So, I don't think I'm going to swatch the neutral side just because that's the side I'm not going to be using today. And Raw Beauty Christy did swatch all of her eyeshadows in her video. So, if you want to see that, you can go check that out over there, which I'm sure you have already. But I think I'm going to do something possibly weird today. I kind of want to use this pink and yellow color. Hmm. All right, let's come up with a makeup look. Woo! Okay, so I brought you guys in a little bit closer so we can go ahead and see what I will be doing on my eye today. So I just put a little bit of eye primer on my eye and we're just going to not set it today and we'll see how that works out. So the first thing I'm going to do is take that bright pink color side effect and I'm going to go ahead and put that in my crease. I'm going to be using the lavish tapered blending brush. Someone commented in one of my videos that she was like, girl, why can't you, why can't you not use your hand when you put eyeshadow on? Come on. What's up with that? And you know what? She called me out in a very nice way. And I was like, <laughs> you know what? We're going to try it. So I've been practicing a little bit without putting my hand on my face. We'll try it out today. We'll see how it works. But um, there is the slightest, slightest bit of kick up in the pan, but like almost none. And this color so far is going on very beautifully. I don't know where I'm going with this, but we're just going to blend this. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that is what the side effect shade looks like. Um, pretty much blended out. Um, I took it a little bit further out here because I think I'm going to try something new today that might be an absolute disaster, but who cares? Um, if it turns out like crap, we will just do it again or just go with it and look like a crazy person. But yeah, so beautiful, beautiful shade. It blended out. Like I feel like I put the eyeshadow on my eye and it just blended itself. I didn't need to do anything. So very impressed by that. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, actually, I think I'm just going to go ahead right now and cut the crease. So let me go do that and I'll be right back. All right. So I'm going to use the dandelion shade. That is the yellowy kind of golden shade we have right there. And I'm going to put that kind of on the outer portion. I'm going to be using my Billion Dollar Brows eyeshadow brush. I'm 
I'm going in with just a more detailed brush by Lavish. I'm using the pencil brush. All right, you guys, this is what I got going on right now. All right, you know, whatever. It's my own creation. <laughs> okay, so I am actually going to use Cafe Disco Color in the center of the palette, and I'm going to put that on the inner portion of my eye. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to try and pack that on. Hopefully I don't need... A wet brush for this but if I do I do so let's see I'm just gonna try and blend those two colors together Okay, so that is what that is looking like right now. Hopefully you guys can see it pretty well. Um, interesting eye look, right? You're probably like, wow. Yeah, I, f I feel the same way. But you know what? I It's the most interesting eye look I have come up with. So I'm actually pretty excited about it. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit of the disco color and put it on in my um, brow bone. And I'm going to finish up the eye look by putting some of the bright pink shade underneath. I will be back with the lashes on my eye. This is what the lashes look like. So I will be popping those on my eyes and I'll be right back for you guys. Okay, you guys. So I put on the lashes. Look how luscious these lashes are. Holy cow. This is, this is the most lashes I've ever worn in my life. I don't, I, if I put on lashes, it's the most natural lash you could ever imagine. Um, but bam, these are like, whew, look at me. Um, so I just finished up the eye look on the side and I just threw some of the, the pink and the yellow underneath my eyes. I also put on the, I also put on the, um, eyeliner in my waterline. It went on smooth. Very nice. Um, I think it complements this instead of being such a harsh black. Um, I think it goes well with this, but oh my goodness, you guys, I, um, I just want to say the band on the lashes were, was very easy to work with. Um, very pliable. They weren't too stiff. Um, the band was nice and, and thick, but easy to work with. Um, yeah, so I can't even tell you how excited I am about this. This is beautiful. The, the colors are just vibrant and beautiful and everything just blended out so smoothly. Everything's pigmented. The lashes just complement the big, bold look that you wanna have, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, you guys, it is absolutely stunning. I hope you guys like the creation that I made with the eye look today. Let me know what you think down below. You can give me positive, you can give me negative. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Just let me know what you think of the eye look down below and what you think of the collaboration with Raw Beauty Christy and Pure. Was it worth the hassle it took to get this product? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So far, I think this was absolutely worth the six hours and 24 minutes that I spent on that computer hitting refresh a million times until I got this palette. Thank you so much Raw Beauty Christy and Pure for coming out with this. I am so excited for her. That is everything that I have for you. So I am so, so happy with this. If you like the look I created today, give me a big old thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. It helps me out. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of these looks as well. I will be doing unboxings and more beauty reviews coming up. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I will be posting more beauty looks and creations that I come up with over there if you want to check that out. And we can connect a little bit more over there as well. So thank you so, so much for watching this video today, guys. And I cannot wait to see you guys very, very soon. So thank you so much. Bye!